Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and I thought today it would be fun if I shared everything that I bought in February. I'm talking fashion, skincare, beauty, and a few lifestyle things for the house. If there's enough interest in this video and you would like to see it on a monthly basis, be sure to let me know in the comment section. I have 18 things. I didn't think that I had bought that much in February, being it was a short month but let's hop right into it and the first thing that i want to talk about is a new shampoo to me and i'm talking about the wow shampoo this just came out of my shower so i'm hoping it doesn't drip water all over me so anyways i fell in love with it the first time that i tried it now i have thick coarse hair and it usually doesn't have a lot of body this is the second day since I've shampooed my hair. I usually like to wash my hair every third day if I can, but sometimes it's difficult, you know, because I have oily hair. With this shampoo, I can go three days. It is such a nice shampoo. I just like put a small amount of hair straightening serum in before I blow dry it. And I'm telling you, the next day I have lots of body. So whenever you tell me, Kathy, your hair looks good today, this is the trick and I am so impressed with this shampoo. I also have the conditioner. The conditioner is okay. Much prefer the shampoo and I actually had a sample of the, I think you say Orbe conditioner. That conditioner works so well with my hair. I know it's expensive, but I think there's a Sephora sale coming up pretty soon, isn't it, in April. I'm gonna put that Orbe conditioner in my shopping cart so I get the 20% off. But I'm telling you, I'm also gonna be restocking this shampoo. Now it is a color security shampoo. It's 100% clean, residue free. Uh, I color my hair so I'm not worried at all about it like uh, making my color any less vibrant. I cannot tell you how much I love this shampoo. Now, they may have little sample sizes on the Sephora website. It seems to me I saw them there. If they do, I will link everything in the box below this video in the order that I mentioned them. But I wanted to tell you about my hair. I have oily hair, so sometimes I find for myself, when I buy a shampoo and a conditioner from the same line, I always don't get the best results. So for me, I find it best to buy like the shampoo from one line, the conditioner from another line, and that seems to work best for my hair. And I also find that whenever I use like a drugstore shampoo, I really like the one by L'Oreal. I bought it quite a few times because it gives me a lot of body, but I can only go about a day and a half and then my hair starts to feel like weighted down and greasy looking. So that's why I prefer to spend a little bit more on the shampoo because I can really notice a difference with my hair. So really loving these WOW products. So the next thing that I have to show you is a pricey item. I saw everybody talking about this lip gloss or lip product, whatever you want to call it. It's by Westman Atelier. And everybody was raving about how wonderful it is. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It isn't that wonderful for me. It doesn't wow me that much. Yes, the packaging is lovely. It's very, very heavy, um, beautiful packaging. It's just a colored lip gloss. But I have to tell you, I applied this before I started the video and I can already feel it sticking to my teeth. That drives me nuts. I hate that about lip gloss. So I won't be repurchasing this lip gloss again. I will link it below so you can look into it. It does have a lot of beautiful colors. But what I plan on buying in March, and I'm so excited to try, and I'll let you certainly know what I think about it, is a Dior lip oil. I have a few Dior lip products and I really do like them. But I'm just being honest, this one is driving me nuts. I can feel it sticking to my teeth right now and I just wanna go and wipe it off. Yeah, this one I would not buy again. I've talked about this in the past. It is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. Can we just talk about this winter? I don't know, I guess it's because I'm getting older. I'll be 55 in the summer. Probably hormones are playing an issue, but we've had our furnace on since November. 
and the house has gotten so dry this year my skin is so so dry and driving me nuts now i have oily skin on my face and typically my body never really bothered me until i turned about i would think 50, 50 51 52 i really started to notice that even my body skin was getting dry in the winter so I've tried Vaseline, I tried Eucerin, which is very good, and it is it is good, but um, it doesn't wow me. But I have two that I'm going to show you that have really changed my skin. So I've used this, this in the past, but I did buy one in February, and it's a Josie Moran whipped argan oil, and I always buy it in the scent Citrus. Oh, why am I showing you? You can't smell. It's just, it's lovely. But the thing that I like about this, a little bit goes a long way, but it's really nice and thick, but it just absorbs so easily into the skin. And it leaves my skin feeling nice and light and fluffy and smells nice and luxurious. And it really moisturizes my skin. Like my skin actually feels like it's got moisture in it. So this is a great body butter. I know it's expensive, but look for a sale. You can get them, I think on QVC. You can get them at Nordstrom's. I, I never try to pay full price for anything. I always try and buy my stuff on sale because I just don't like paying full price, but I do recommend that one. Now, this one that I'm going to talk about, it's expensive for me. It's $45 on Amazon. I live in Canada, so it's probably a lot cheaper in the U.S. So there's 12 ounces in this, and this is the Alpha Skin Care with 12% glycolic AHA. This stuff is magic. I wish that it came in a container with a pump. So far, I've only ever been able to find this size. And the problem that I have this size, I don't know if I'm getting arthritis or just getting older, but I find that I'm losing the strength in my hands. And this is such a hard plastic, it's really difficult to squeeze the stuff out through that tiny little hole because it is a nice thick um, lotion. Well, now it comes out. You can see how thick it is. And it just absorbs so, so nicely into the skin. I don't think it really has a scent. It's hard to tell on top of the other one. But I have to tell you this story. My feet get very dry in the winter. I think that's from, you know, my farming days when I would be wearing rubber boots and feet swept in the cold and they would get really dry. So they were driving me nuts and I had tried every cream out there. I bought special cream just for dry feet. They didn't do anything. I used this one night before I went to bed. I woke up the next morning, not a word of a lie. My feet felt so soft, almost like the skin on a baby. This has transformed my skin. I don't use it on my face, just everywhere else on my body. It really is worth every penny, especially in the winter. My only complaint is, like I said, it's expensive. Um, if you know where I could get it cheaper, if you know where I could get it in a larger size with a pump, I would much prefer a pump because I just find like I'm losing the strength in my hands and I'm just not as strong as I used to be. Like they still work. Anyways, that's a really great body lotion. So I started using the Anastasia Brow Serum, I think back in maybe October, November. I had tried Latisse for my eyelashes and my brows, but it's super expensive. It's like $120 a month. So I was looking online and I saw Sephora had this one by Anastasia and I figured, well, she's the brow whiz. Let's try this product. So I used it last fall and then I don't know what happened. I just forgot about it. And then it dawned on me like halfway through January, I need to try this again because I can notice that my brows are getting thinner. And I have hypothyroidism, so I have sparse eyebrows and I'm missing my tails. So I apply this twice a day, morning and at night after I've done my skincare. If I put it on before I do my eyebrows, I let it dry for about 10 minutes. 
but I just love it and I know when I use it, it works. It makes my um, eyebrows so, so soft. It really conditions them and it really lengthens them. Sometimes that I'll have to like trim them a bit and I've never had to do that before because I've always had such sparse eyelashes. So it's just a nice, what do you call that? The tip, the brush. It's really nice and I know it works. I just wish, I'm not sure she makes a product for the eyelashes. So I've started using this again in February and I'm loving it and I plan on continuing using this one. It is pricey, I can't remember the exact price, but it's, you know, not $120. And this lasts way longer than a month, like probably two to three months. So a little bit of that goes a long, long way. I bought another Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This one is almost out. I know you can buy this on the shopping channel, QVC, um, Nordstrom, Sephora, Ulta, everywhere. This stuff, it works like a gem. I know it's expensive. I know that. And I know there are cheaper options. I've tried them. For myself, I like this one the best because I've tried ones by it. I've tried drugstore ones. And I always find whenever I use them, like to scrub around my eyes, my eye makeup, I get like a film over my eye and it drives me nuts because it takes about a half an hour to go away. And you want to be careful like you don't get stuff in your eyes. The Elemis does not do that. And the thing that I like about the Elemis is it's it's not um it's like a balm when you put it on but I like really rub it into my face and you can just see it breaking up the makeup. It even takes off waterproof mascara. And I'll leave it sit on my face for, I don't know, maybe three, four minutes. I always do it in the evening before I hop in the shower. And by the time I get in the shower, my makeup is just melting off and my skin just feels so, so clean. Now I will wash my face in the shower after, um, to wash the balm off. And I like to use a, um, a scrubbing cleanser. And the one that I like is by Neutrogena. It's a Hydro Boost that lives in my shower. I use that every night when I take my shower. So I use the balm and then the Neutrogena and my face feels so, so clean. Every trace of makeup is gone. And another thing about makeup balms I've used in the past, they don't get all of the makeup off because I will still have to go over with a toner and you'll see it on the cotton pad. Whereas with I use the Elemis, it gets everything. It's gone. It's really, really great. And another skincare product that I've used for a while, kind of got away from it. But then when my skin started to get dry, I said, I gotta start using this again. And it is the Caudalie Grape Water. I love this stuff. I talk about it all the time. This is a large size. I just love to spritz my face. I do this every night before bed. My skin's feeling a little bit of tight in the winter or if I'm hot in the summer, just go into the bathroom and spritz away. I love this stuff and I swear by it. I have mild rosacea and I truly believe that this has helped to calm the redness and keep my rosacea redness away love this stuff and I know a lot of you love it too because you've told me you've tried it and you also like it. Okay let's talk about the clothes that I bought in February. I bought a jean jacket from Talbot's, just received it. I plan on doing a video next week so stay tuned. I have never owned a jean jacket in my life because I always felt that because I was plus size that they just didn't look well on me. I'm kind of digging the one that I bought. So be on the lookout for that video. I bought it at Talbot's. I'll link it below because they probably will have a sale this weekend. They always have great sales on the weekend. And on Sunday evening, a lot of times they'll have a flash sale with free shipping to Canada, free shipping to the U.S. But if you're Canadian, just remember you're, you're going to have to pay in U.S. dollars and you're also going to have to pay the duties and taxes. So I know it's expensive for us to buy um, online. So if you live near a Talbot store in Canada, you know, maybe that would be a better option. I don't live near one, so my only option is to buy online. I really got into Talbot's clothes this past year. 
I never knew that I could wear their clothes. I am a plus size petite, and by petite, I'm referring to my height. I am five foot four. So anybody that is five foot four inches or below is considered a petite. And yes, you can be plus size and petite because petite is referring to our vertical height. So I normally in Talbots wear um, I think this is a, yes, plus petite. If I can get a plus petite in the tops, I always go with the plus petite 3X because I have big boobs <laughs> and broad shoulders. They fit me great. If I can't, I can also fit into the plus, but I size down to the plus 2X, but that's when the arms get to be a little longer. Now, when it comes to pants, I wear the plus petite 2x. I find the 3x is too big on me. Um, yay, <laughs> because I must be losing weight. And the plus, they're just, I find, too big. And I have to get them shortened. So if I, if it doesn't come in a plus petite, I try to avoid it unless I really, really want it. So anyways, that jean jacket, I'm excited to show it to you next week. But let's talk about this popover top. You probably saw it if you watched my Talbots haul. I love this top. It just makes me so happy. Now I know you're going to say, but Kathy, you really didn't like it in your haul video. And you're right, I didn't. My first impressions was, I don't like it. This has, um, I think you call it smocking detail. I love this top and I love the smocking. <laughs> so you see what I mean? Sometimes our first impressions aren't um, the impression that is going to stick with us. I just find it feminine looking. I love the blue on the white. That's very nice and fresh looking for spring. I love the v-neck. Uh, even these little tabs, you know, I was complaining about them when I first put them on, but they've grown on me. And if I want, I could order some fashion tape from Amazon and, and just tack this back. But honestly, it doesn't bother me anymore. It's a perfect length. I wear it with jeans. You can wear it with leggings. Uh, you can put a, a sweater over it for a more dressier look. I love Talbot's popovers. I do not like blouses or front button ups. I just, I don't feel comfortable in them. So I always love when I can find a nice popover. And I bought this one. And I also bought this one that I'm showing you on the screen. I'm gonna show you that next week in my Talbots and Chico's haul. So stay tuned for that. This is also very cute, but I don't think this color is available in Plus Petite anymore, although they do have a green one. So I'm still gonna show it to you because you may like green and uh, you know, you may like that. I'm trying to find a green that looks good on me. Um, I haven't yet. I have worn green in the past, but not a lot, but I know there's a specific green that looks good on me. So if I can find something this spring, I'll definitely share that with you. In February, I bought another pair of Talbots out and about joggers in navy. I had to size down. My original pair I bought last fall were too big. Yay! I have to tell you, I know these joggers are expensive and I know Talbots clothing is on the pricier side, but the way I look at it, I would rather have less clothing, but a better quality. I don't know how many times I've bought more affordable clothing, but after a wash or two, they lose their shape, they get a hole in them. And I just find as a plus size woman that it's important to have clothing that fits proportionally to my body shape, body size. That's why I'm really enjoying Talbots and Chico's and I'm trying to order from some other stores just to get a little bit of variety. I spent eight hours the other day combing Amazon. Uh, I wanted to do like a spring dress haul. I'm serious, eight hours. Amazon has to do something to fix their website because it is not at all friendly for plus size fashion. And whenever you type in plus size fashion, their stuff is just boxy and it goes against everything. You know, I'm always telling you if you want to be more complimentary what to look for. I'm just so frustrated because I never really find anything at Amazon. I might find the occasional piece, like I've shown you a dress from Amazon, but I just find once you get over a size, I don't know, 18, that the clothes, at least that I'm looking at, um, they're not flattering and they're kind of on the expensive side too. 
because they're like, you know, $50, $60. So my way of thinking is, well, then I'll just wait for a sale at Talbot's or Chico's or another store and order from there. So, you know, I'm still trying to find some Amazon clothes that I can show you. But like I said the other day, I spent all day long and I was so frustrated. I found five dresses I thought that were going to work. Four out of the five dresses had to be shipped from another country. And the thing, the problem that I have with uh, Amazon is their clothing size. Like I always go by my bust size when I'm looking for a dress or a top because that's my biggest area. But you know, if I was to follow the sizing guide on Amazon, I'd be wearing like a 6XX or whatever they call it. I don't know. If you have a look with Amazon, let me know. But so far, I haven't. So that's partially part of the reason why I haven't shopped uh, Amazon for clothing because I just waste so many hours in the day. I just wish they had a better way to search. I'd rather just like have less clothes, like I said, and buy them when they're on sale. I never, ever, ever pay full price for my clothes. I always buy them on sale and I never pay for shipping. I always, always wait when they have sh free shipping at Talbot's or Chico's or any store. Now I did buy, I placed an order. I'm hoping it comes today or tomorrow from Chico's. I only bought three things, but I'm really excited to get them and share them with you because I bought a nice spring dress and I'm so excited about getting it. I'm gonna share it with you now in case you want to get it and it goes out of stock because last time I showed you a dress that I bought there, uh, you guys really liked it and uh, I think it sold out pretty quickly because it's really hard to find a nice dress for a plus size woman that is nice and flattering. So the one that I bought is called the Poplin Eye Cat Balloon Sleeve Dress. I'm not sure what the balloon sleeve is going to look like on me, but I think it's going to be okay. I don't think it's going to be too big. I th I think it has smocking. I can't remember, but I'll show it to you when I get it. But I just love the eye cat print. The print is so flattering because if you have, you know, lumps and bumps that you want to camouflage, it, a print can do that for you. And I just saw this dress and I thought, I need that. That is going to pair so well with my jean jacket. And I know that my ladies are going to love the look. So next week, be on the lookout for that haul video. And I also bought a three quarter sleeve length tee from Chico's. I'm not in love with three quarter length sleeves. I'd rather that they cut off at the elbow, but I did buy two t-shirts from Chico's um, a couple hauls ago. They're great. They're great quality. They fit me very well. I wear their size four. Their sizing is, you know, really different. Be sure to check out the sizing chart, but I know a size four fits me, which is a 20 to 22, I think. Again, I always go with my bust for the measurements because um, that's my problem area. And the last thing that I bought, I'm so excited to get them and try them, are these girlfriend distressed crop jeans. I really hope that I like them. They're a lighter color uh, for the spring. Typically, I like darker colors on the bottom, but it's spring, it's time to lighten up everything, step out of my comfort zone. So I have a lot of ideas on how to style these crop jeans. So be on the lookout for those next week. So now let's move into some, we'll call them lifestyle things. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is this spice drawer organizer. My spices were in my pantry and they were all like just, you know, piled uh, one behind the other on a Lazy Susan. I thought that would be a good way to keep them, but you know, I still gotta pull out everything whenever I'm looking for a particular spice. So I was on Amazon uh, where you can waste a lot of hours, just, you know, once you get on Amazon and I found these spice drawer organizers and I thought, I need these. So I measured my drawer. The thing that I like about these, they are adjustable. The drawer that I have them in, it's not the widest drawer, but it's perfect for the amount of spices that I have. So I just kept the glass jars that the spice already comes in. If you want, you can order you know, glass jars, so they're all the same, but I don't care who's gonna see them, they're in a drawer. 
but I alphabetize my spices and I love it. And I just feel that now it's like, oh, now maybe I'll cook more or use them more. I don't know. But uh, I certainly know that I don't need to buy any chili powder because I have four of them. So that's what happens whenever things get, you know, stored, tucked away in the pantry. And that's something that I need to do this spring is I want to organize my pantry. We've been in this house now for two years and it's a disaster. It's driving me nuts. So I want to buy some um, organizers. Would you be interested in seeing like a pantry organizing video or not really? Or what about a closet organizing video? Would you be interested in that? Because I'm also in the process of organizing my closet in the bedroom. This cell phone stand is perfect. I bought this because lots of times when we're FaceTiming somebody, you know, I'm just holding the phone like this. Well, now I can put my phone on this little stand, even my iPad and you just twist it you can make it go up well that's as high as it goes but it's perfect for facetiming and it wasn't that expensive so i'm really loving my little phone holder the next thing that i want to talk about are these plastic storage bins that i got on amazon they have a nice lid on them now you can use them for whatever it is you like but I'm using them to organize my shoes because we don't have the greatest closet. It's not that big and I share it with my husband. I wish I had my own closet. I had my shoes on a shoe rack before in my closet, but they get dusty. I can't really see the shoes that well because I don't have a lot of space in the closet. So I thought I'm gonna put my shoes in these clear bins and then I'm going to like group them by like sandals, sneakers. So every shoe that I have lives in this plastic container. I just pull them down and when I'm done uh, wearing them for the day, I put them back up unless it's a shoe that, you know, I'm going to be wearing for a few days, but obviously not because we still have like three feet of snow and it's snowing again today. But I thought that that was good because you can see through it. And I also <laughs> learned by going through my shoes that I have duplicates of shoes or not like similar type shoes. So I really think it's great to have uh, shoes organized like in a plastic bin you can see or you could take like a Polaroid picture. To me this just seemed like the easier option. So after I took my Christmas decor down off my fireplace mantle in the living room, the house was looking kind of bare. So I'm kind of thinking, how can I stage it for the spring and summer? So I saw these nice pillar candle holders on Amazon. There's a set of three and here's the smallest one. So I just have them sitting on my um, fireplace mantle in the living room now as I try and collect pieces. I'm going to look for, I thought maybe some nice light green candles, but I don't want real candles. I want to see if I can find the kind that uh, run by battery. So if you know, if you can get colored uh, flameless candles, please let me know. And I think that will look pretty on the mantle. And then I also bought this little bluebird. I thought he was the cutest little thing. It wasn't that expensive. He was under like, I think $20. So he's been sitting on my mantle, but I need to find some other little things just to style it with. But I just loved him because I just thought it's such a nice blue. You know, I love blue. Uh, it makes me think of like a bluebird or a little chickadee. Um, just makes me happy whenever I look at them and I think it's cute for spring because the robins will soon be coming here in March They have their little ones and they always make a nest somewhere around our house So it's kind of fun to to watch the birds So if you enjoyed seeing what I bought for February Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and in the meantime go check out my latest video It's 16 awesome spring 2023 fashion trends for plus size women over 50. So I'll meet you over at that video. Thanks for watching. Bye.